Hi everybody, it's Corpus Rusha and you're watching Starting Out Territory. In this free slot that is Saturday, I would like to talk about and address about my version or my tradition's version of Yule or the Winter Solstice. As a Celtiberian tribal polytheist, um, I celebrate winter solstice. Um, probably many people or most of you have heard somewhat that the solstices and equinoxes aren't important to Celtic people. Well, I can't speak for Irish and Scottish and even British people, I can speak for some of the tribes in the Iberian Peninsula and gold. In the Iberian Peninsula, in some of the Celtic areas, we find uh, sanctuaries, observatories, and even fields of petroglyphs, like in Galicia, for example, that we know for a matter of fact that they were designed at that time to observe the sun crowning some sacred mountain at solstices and equinoxes um, or to be shed light upon in the moment of the solstice or the equinox. So that's an indication that it was important to at least those Celtic people. And that's why we celebrate in my tradition solstices and equinoxes. So the name that we gave to this festival is Medokiamo, which it's uh, roughly translated or reconstructed without any intent of being grammatically correct as uh, midwinter. Why midwinter? Because in the agropastoral calendar, which was a base for the Iron Age uh, people, there was only two seasons summer and winter. And that's why sowing is, or Samonius is translated uh, many times as um, summer's end. This moment is, the, the solstice is the moment in which Bialisto, the most shining one, the fiery stallion that crosses the sky, hence the sand, he dies. But at the very moment of his death, he starts to come to life again. Therefore, from the moment of his death, the moment of the solstice, and onwards, he will be regaining strength and becoming stronger and stronger again. And so the cycle starts again. For that reason, it's important to be at his funeral, to to stay awake um, the whole night if possible and observing him rising again at dawn. That's, that's probably the most important ritual, more than the words and the prayers and the offerings. Since this attendance this funeral, this resurrection, was observed upon the mountains. In, uh, in my tradition's mythology, because we don't have official mythology, so we have to, um, we have to make inspired mythology through UPG, Unverified Personal Analysis. In this mythology, the mountain gods, such as Tethetius or Candamius, 
they they also help and attend the funeral and resurrection because if we ex if sorry if our ancestor expected um the sun to to crown the mountain top at the moment of the solstice then we assume the local mountain deities are important it's a moment to know that even if the most vicious and predatory forces are out of the underworld and can actually hunt us down life continues and will continue when Bialisto grows stronger again but meanwhile we have to protect ourselves we have to leave food offerings for these forces to not invade our homes um, that's why Trevaruna, the housekeeper, is at our homes during winter. She's also a warrior, but we know that in Iron Age and ancient times, winter wasn't a time for war. So she's not battling. She's at home, keeping the hearth safe, protecting us, and renovating the ties between families and uh, the tribe because she's also a protector of tribes a tribal goddess not only a protector of the home we leave offerings for these spirits to be satisfied and not attack us at our very homes we protect our homes we keep the hearth uh, as much alive as possible we keep the home warm and safe and tidy because um, tradition says that the, some of these spirits don't like homes to be a mess when they visit them and yeah basically it's a time for reflection to be protected to be safe leave lots of offerings be as much at, at home as possible um, renew ties with family, remember the those who are gone and basically uh, protect ourselves at home and forget wars and battles of any kind until the time is proper for that because yes that's a proper time for for war actually I don't know if you know the story of um, how the calendar changed or why the Romans changed uh, their calendar which is now ours uh, maybe I will tell it in some video but it has to do with some of the Calterian tribes yes it has it has to do with some of my ancestors um, they were building walls and Romans to keep that as a malicious action and uh, an and, and, and ill intended uh, but they basically changed the calendar so they could go to war at that moment instead of waiting months for it as, as the Roman laws required by the way that noise is the washing machine yeah it's a moment to um, to make company to buy Listo in his death and resurrection, uh, leave lots of food and drink offerings and sweet offerings uh, for the winter spirits to not come at our homes and be satisfied. Um, I forgot to say that it's also a time to keep start or keep with the winter masquerades, the ones that I spoke in the video for sewing. Um, winter masquerades um, with lots of noises. Uh, making noises is a way to uh, keep evil spirits away. Actually, we know from other fact that, that rattles were used to keep evil spirits away. And even kids rattles were used for that. Uh, we found in the Iberian Peninsula, <coughs> sorry, in a Celtic area, uh, a kids rattle that was carved 
it was made of clay or something like that and was for children but was carved with solo symbols such as swastikas and um, tree scallions and stuff like that um, so the the guess of historians and archaeologists is that it was given to the kid the kid will play with it it will make the noise and keep spirits evil spirits away from him or her from the baby but yeah um winter masquerades with with lots of belts and rattles to keep evil spirits away winter spirits away the house at home the home warm and tidy and yeah basically that's our winter solstice that's as a cultivarian traditionalist as a traditional witch some of these spirits are an opportunity to make pacts because these spirits are very powerful and they come out only at winter so let's see what comes out from this I hope that you like this video it's my first Saturday so I'm really excited see you after Jule please have a happy happy Jule thanks for watching and bye